my name. Dr. Dick can say it about for me. Dr. Dejo Pimp, pussy nigga, ain't no offering. You a pussy with some discharge. We caught it, caught it, gee. I did a hit on Discord. I say it's 2023. New Year, new me. It's 2023. Glock 23. I don't do 20p. What's up, guys? What's up? I'm back. A young nigga is like, I know y'all miss a nigga. I've been gone. I'm about to tell y'all. I'm going to tell y'all what happened and everything, but I've been gone for a little bit. I'm just saying, like, I'm glad I'm back. Um, I'm probably gonna make, I'm probably gonna go back doing videos every day, like I was for a little bit. Um, I'll wait. Uh, let's go back with the main story. Let's go. Take We've got a bit of a problem. The NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup have gone missing. I swear I had them through customs when we got back. Do you think the airline somehow lost them? Or maybe they were stolen? Ah, oh, this is bad. Okay. How can I calm down when the two things that have helped make me the hottest thing in wrestling are missing? Uh, let's get this straight. You made yourself the hottest thing in wrestling. It's not about the hardware. And they're not missing. I made a deal with WWE. This what do you mean you made a deal? You've had your fun. Jaw riding around the world, but now it's time to face the challenges head on. That means returning to WWE. So, I handed over to the NXT UK title and Heritage Cup in exchange for you getting your job back. I'm not sure I agree with how you handled this, but I get why you did it. You're right. Maybe it is time to go back. I am right. And are you honestly surprised I did this? It's kind of my thing. No. Should have seen it coming a mile away. What can I say? I went with my gut. I wasn't going to sit back and let you make the same mistakes I made in my career. So you're going back to WWE to become the megastar you were destined to be. All right. I guess we're headed to Raw. We going to Raw? Damn. Thought they would have me in NXT or something. Uh, my controller is fucked still. And for some reason, the only way my controller charges, I have to unplug my mouse, plug it into my computer. This is the problem. Now it's not even fucking working. So my controller is broken. At the moment, my controller is broken. It's aggravating as hell still. I thought, I, like, it worked one day. Like, it fully charged and everything. But now it's going back through that bullshit. I'm about to reset it. Let's see if that helps. But yeah, I'm back. I'm back, bitch. And I still like the rap shit, fuck. So why did I leave? Where have I been? Am I okay? Did I die? You probably won a lot of things. Let's just say I went on a trip. I made a good trip. Take that body away. It's certainly been a wild ride lately. I didn't expect it to happen like this, but I think deep down I knew someday I'd have to go back to WWE if I truly wanted to prove myself. Tavish was right. 
It's time to take this challenge head on and make up for how things ended. This time will be different now that the handcuffs are off and I can be myself. And there's only one goal in mind. Get to the top and become WWE Champion. Now that you can be yourself, are you going to show up in WWE with your current look, debut something new, or return to being The Luck? current look. Like I said, I've had a lot of success on the international scene. I feel comfortable with what I'm doing, and I want to keep that going in WWE. You mentioned how your goal is to win the WWE Championship. That's interesting, because since you've been gone, your old faction mate Slade has broken through and become WWE Champion. Yeah, Slade, or as I knew him, Gabe. Look, I don't care who's champion. It could be an old friend, it could be an enemy, or someone I've never even met before. It doesn't matter. Whoever it is, I'm taking their title. You think everything will be okay with WWE management after you've basically hijacked their titles? I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. Hmm. I ain't going back as a lock. Fuck that shit. I didn't do none of this. To just come back to be the same nigga that I was before I left. Like, how stupid is that? And I'm not gonna change my look because nobody knows me as this. Everybody knows me as this, so why would I change my look? But, guys, I'm proud to be back, though. This is my first time actually sitting down playing a game in a good minute. Like, I've been fucked up mentally. Physically, I'm good, but mentally, I was fucked up, so I had to take a break for everything. Like, I ain't took days off work. I mentally lost it and broke down. Here we go. Just like riding a bike. Only, there's a horde of angry men trying to violently knock you out. You got this. He looks like Austin's been a while. Meet your new and improved replacement. <laughs> You'll be seeing me around. That was awkward. <laughs> At least you haven't run into Sean Marcos yet. If I had to guess, he's saving that for later. Oh, why are you texting me? Yeah. It's a surprise. It's a surprise in my city yet. But yeah. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. So, what happened? Okay. At some point, congratulations on getting a second chance. Zero's words. I guess I got to deal with Zero words. No welcome back gift basket? No, not after what happened with you last time. I can't even look at our WWE 2K game cover now without having flashbacks. I'm sorry. I was under a lot of pressure and trying to find my way with a new faction, but I've gained some perspective in my time away from WWE. So what do you say we start over? I can consider that, but an I'm sorry gift basket would help your cause. If that's all it takes, then deal. And maybe a skywriting apology message as well. <laughs> Don't push it, nigga. Don't push it. <laughs> So, what happened to me? Let me get closer to the mic so y'all can actually hear me. So, what happened to me? I was under a lot of stress.
like it fucked up my system so bad. So that happened. Then ever since I've been having deja vu and all these other things. So I've been just trying to deal with my mental health. Who knows what we're about to hear from this man, but either way, it should be interesting. I just can't believe he's back. Did you ever think you'd see this again? I did it. See, the last time I was in a WWE ring, I was fired. Everything I had worked for was gone in an instant. I was lost. Without that fight to be the future world champion, the lock, <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. I didn't know where to turn next. But then I realized that even though I was knocked down, I wasn't knocked out. There was an entire world of wrestling outside of WWE. Facts. New challenges, new stages, new fights. So I set out to conquer that wrestling world, and I did. Leaving WWE no choice but to bring back the man who had been cast aside as a mistake, never to be seen again. But the man you see here tonight is not the same man who was fired. That man was the lock. And I'm here to tell you, the lock is officially dead. From now on, you're going to get the real thing. The man who went out and fulfilled his potential all around the world. Unfiltered, uncuffed, and unleashed. And now, nothing stands in my way from doing what I already did across the globe. Conquering this last territory by winning the WWE Championship. But now that I'm back, what's well, really... Here we go. These two have some serious key history. We are I know I'm sexy. I this got the future. looks. And this could be it. This is the trial. The speech. Wow. Almost even had me believe in you for a second. Not to rain on your comeback parade. But let me hit you with at least a drizzle of truth. Okay. You might have managed to win a few matches while you were gone and pulled off some cheap publicity stunts like invading NXT UK and taking their titles for a joyride. But let's get one thing straight. You don't belong here. We tried everything in our power to help you succeed and it flat out didn't work. So despite everything you just said, I'm not inclined to try again. Well, I'm back. So you don't have a choice, do you? Yeah, about that. You might have maneuvered your way back to WWE, but that doesn't mean I can't make your life a living hell now that you're here. So what? You're gonna force me to be the lock again? Nope. But there has been a slight revision to your new contract. A little detail you might want to consider. And that is, if you don't become WWE Champion within 58 days from today, which just so happens to coincide with SummerSlam, you will be gone from WWE permanently. Forever, or as you said, knocked out. So yeah, good luck with this whole comeback thing. Wow, that's shocking news. You might not want to walk away when I'm talking to you. Didn't work out so well for you last time, did it? Do I need to repeat myself? 58 days. Why wait? Give me a championship match against my old buddy Slade, and we'll get this over with tonight. 
No chance. Fifty eight days. It's WWE Champion this Slade. Look like Austin Slade Larry looks Soul determined Man. as he heads toward he, the ring. Mark. Yeah, determined to prove that a hell of a lot has changed since the former lock left WWE. Slade may have taken a back seat in the past, but now he's the man on Raw. That's all fine, but his boss Shawn Michaels just said there wouldn't be a title match tonight, so I'm not sure what Slade is doing out here. If you haven't noticed, things have changed around here since you've been gone. In fact, if anyone's the lock now, it's me. Since unlike you, I actually became WWE Champion. Convenient how that happened when I was gone. Are you saying I'm only champion because you weren't here? <laughs> okay. Let's get this straight. I'm not threatened by you. So if you want to take your shot at my title and try to save your job here in WWE, then I actually agree with you for once. Let's do this right now. Wow, this is actually going to happen? Michaels doesn't look too thrilled. Okay, fine. You got what you wanted. The match is on. We're going to have an impromptu WWE Championship match between two former faction mates right here, right now. I, I don't get this. The championship deadline was set at 58 days. You don't give the man a title match on night one. I agree, Corey. There has to be more to this plan. Nonetheless, here we yeah, go. Yeah, they have to. I might need to get my glasses checked to make sure. Oh my God. This is actually happening, but Slade and his former Evolution teammate are squaring off right now for the WWE title. It's happening, Michael. The artist, formerly known as Locke, is back. He sure is, and he wants the entire. See, this is the shit I'm talking about. Like, this match starts with me. WWE Universe to know that the only name he wants from Shawn Michaels is WWE Champion. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. A big punch. Ouch. Was mounted with punches and not oof, well measured. Oh, not quite yet. Sit-out power bomb. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. Near oh. breaker. Oof. As the challenger pin. Is this it? The challenger doesn't even allow one count. I suppose you have to take the shot, but it's still too early to wrap up this one just yet. And he's able to reverse. Able to reverse that one. Oh. And a set on. Calls the pin off with a rope break. Uh-oh. Springboard. Stunner. Great precision. Let him have this moment. He's earned it. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. To set up a cutter. Oh, my goodness. Kick to the spine. We can have a new champion here. What the heck? Shawn Michaels just pulled the referee out of the ring. What kind of behavior is that by our VP of Talent Development? Sean wasn't going to let the title change hands like this. Not with the championship deadline in play. Orton and Braun Breaker from behind. Evolution's taking advantage of the interference from Shawn Michaels. Was this all part of Evolution and Michaels' plan in accepting the match? And Breaker nails the military press power slam. Now Slade's going to try to steal this. And of course, Shawn Michaels is now helping the referee back in the ring. Slade got him. The champion retains. The challenger never really had a chance against the combination of Evolution and Shawn Michaels. I don't see how he's going to win the championship in the next 58 days with the deck stacked against him like this. This is just getting worse now. Is this really necessary? It's former WCW superstar Tavish. He's been a mentor to the lock and played a key role in his resurgence. 
And now he's playing a key role in his beatdown. This is too much for an aging veteran to overcome. And Braun locks in the recliner. Breaker's going to force him to watch as his mentor is taken out by Evolution. What are they doing now? Oh, he did a kill switch? Slade Runner onto the steel chair. This is not how he expected his big return to go here tonight. Welcome back to WWE, Locke. You've got a long, daunting road ahead of you. I agree, but I don't know about the long part. He's got less than 60 days to take Slade's championship, or he's gone from WWE forever. This is not looking good. Certainly long odds to overcome. Wow. That's crazy. But guess what? Nigga, y'all don't know who the fuck I am, I guess. Nigga. Nigga. I took over the Tokyo Dome. Y'all kissing my black ass. Y'all think this shit, little shit. You think little slave gonna stop me? Little slave big game. You think I'm scared, Lil Slade? Yeah, it really is. Martha Luther King's speech. Let me pick. I'm telling you, let me pick. It's over. I'm telling you, if they let me pick, my nigga, it's over. I don't give a fuck. I'm getting fucking Omos. <laughs> No, 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 I'm about to make, I'm about to make the most badass fucking, if they let me pick who I get, nigga, it's over, Randy, nigga, I'm about to get fucking some studs, I ain't getting no pussy niggas, I'm getting some real niggas. But guys, I'm gonna talk for a little bit, but to be honest, so... After I got high, like, I've been having deja vu, like I said. My brain is not mentally okay, and I have to stay focused on things just to function through the day. So, I will be making more videos here. I will be trying my best to do more for y'all, and I really appreciate everybody who are st is still here. My last video got 14 likes. I mean, 14 views. I'm fucking with y'all. I love the views. I love everything. Give me some time. I'm about to come back even stronger and stronger and stronger. I'm telling y'all. And this is not over. I know I was gone for a week, but this road is not over, guys. We close. The goal is to be able to have at least 100 videos of it. I mean, 100 fucking views of video. 200,000 by next year. I want to go to WrestleMania. If you, if you follow me on TikTok, follow me on TikTok so y'all can see some more behind the scenes stuff I do. Y'all see me record, to, like, react to WrestleMania. I'm going to try to do some reaction videos for YouTube if I figure it out. 
like I talked to some creative over my break about how to record and do the reactions and they show me so just give me some time so I got y'all fuck with y'all thank y'all for coming peace love and positivity oh I missed this <coughs> this shit got me high